Everyone has heard of extinct animals, whether it be dinosaurs, carrier pigeons, the wig party, etc. And I think we can all agree that it would be completely fine if we hadn't killed off the eastern hare wallaby. Really, why'd we get rid of these? But on the other hand, I think there's some of these specimens that would be better off left extinct. So today I went out and found some of the scariest extinct creatures that I could find, just in time for... Uh... Um... Number 1. The Moa. Giant birds are scary. I mean, look at the cassowary. It's got these gigantic talons on its feet, and who knows what I could be hiding under there. Also, it has a blue head. Well, this may come as a surprise, but modern day big birds are nowhere as near as big as the big birds of yesteryear. That's right, big bird. You're a farce! Imagine taking the ostrich, the biggest bird of today, and enlarging that bad boy until it's 11 feet tall. Look at this unholy abomination. The biggest specimens found are known as South Island moas, and paleontologists have deduced that they could be 12 feet tall and weigh up to 500 pounds. Now, of course, these birds are incapable of flight, but who needs to fly when you're twice as tall as an average man and weigh as much as, um... Five 13 year old children. Number two, the Therizinosaurus. So I don't think the Therizinosaurus, also known as the Reaping Lizard, could have much more of a scarier nickname even if it tried. And this nickname's not for nothing either. The Therizinosaurus lived during the Cretaceous period, and its claws could grow up to be three feet long. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? One can only assume that the degenerates that get those freakishly long nails glued to their hands are trying to replicate the fashion statement that the Therizinosaurus so elegantly pulled off. Luckily, these atrocities didn't use their claws to commit the horrifying acts you're probably imagining. Instead, it's thought that they used their claws to cut down plants like some kind of wacky farmer dinosaur. But that still doesn't make the fact that these things had meter-long fingernails any less terrifying. Number 3. Giant Sloths You'd be pretty hard pressed to find an animal more pathetic than the sloth. They're notoriously slow, completely defenseless, and can literally get too tired to digest their own food, resulting in their starvation. But it didn't always used to be like this. 35 million years ago, the Megatherium roamed the Americas, eating plants and mauling anyone that got in their way. It's hard to imagine that if these things didn't die out, the world might still have 10 foot tall giant sloths over their modern day equivalent. I picked this bad boy up at Walmart. Number four. Quetzalcoatlus. As far as I know, dragons probably never existed, but if they did, their early ancestors would have definitely been the Quetzalcoatlus. These colossal bird lizards had terrifying traits from their 50 foot wingspan to a name even my English major of a mom is scared of. Fun fact, the Quetzalcoatlus was actually named after the Aztec serpent god Quetzalcoatl. The picture of this god is so wacky that I'm not even going to try to draw it. Luckily, I found this drawing that depicts him as an anime girl, so I'm no longer afraid. <music> to put the sheer size of these things into context, here's my depiction of an American football field and the Kexalotrix stretched across it. If the Kexalotl hadn't died out, we might have been lucky enough to be blessed with horse races, but instead of horses, it's giant flying lizards. The problem with this is that while giant flying lizard races would be fun, we would have to deal with the inconvenience of a rampaging Quetzalcoatl making off with a stray third grader every once in a while. Number 5. The Titanoboa So I realize a good portion of these extinct animals that I've talked about are literally just bigger versions of modern day animals, and that's no coincidence. Creatures back in the day just seemed to be bigger, and there's no better example of this than the Titanoboa. Boa constrictors are already terrifyingly large snakes, but they are simply dwarfed by the ridiculously large Titanoboa. Living in the late Paleocene era, the Titanoboa would have been a sight to behold. Growing up to 40 feet long and weighing in at 2,500 pounds. Now imagine you're a Colombian farmer, just chilling on his farm, when all of a sudden a 40 foot long snake bursts out of the woods and devours all your cows. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that, unlike today's boa constrictors, the titanoboa, instead of opting for strangulation, probably went for the more flashy hunting style, hiding under the water and jumping out like a crocodile. That's right, the snake that was as long as a school bus would hide itself in swamps like the Lovecraftian horror that it was. So there you go, there's some of the animals that I'm glad aren't wandering around the earth today. Know of any creatures you thought I'd missed? Let me know in the comments section below and I might make a part two. Oh yeah, here's the obligatory sorry for not uploading for three months. Anyway, thanks for watching.